Someone asked me a few minutes ago, what are my thoughts on the death of Mike Leach? And I didn't even know he died, right? And my thoughts, uh, uh, now that he's dead, are the same as when he was alive, you know? I would, but I would add, a bigot has died. A racist has died. A racist white man has died. A white man who entire existence, right, was, was made possible because of African Americans. A white man who wouldn't have been shit if he wasn't coaching African Americans, right? And you would think that someone who's so much of his life, so much of who he, he he would become, the head coach at all of these at these high level areas, you would think that this would be someone that would cherish African Americans, wouldn't you? You would think that this was someone who would have a high opinion of African Americans, wouldn't you? You obviously haven't been following. Mike Leach as closely as I have. See, my opinion that just because a white man is coaching black children means he likes black people came, came from this asshole, Mike Leach, right? Became because of who he was. And I turned to you on this channel. I said, just because a white man is coaching your kid doesn't mean he likes your kid. It was because of Mike Leach that I said, stop allowing racist white men around your children. I wasn't thinking about the bigots at Clemson at the time, right? But it, it, was, it was this fucker right here. This racist piece of shit right here. No, I don't have shit good to say about him now that he's dead because I didn't have shit good to say about him when he was alive. I'm not, I'm not going to be this hypocritical mother motherfucker like most people. This motherfucker is, was a piece of shit, was a piece of shit. And here's an article. Yeah, this is from three years ago, right? Because I'm not spending a whole lot of time on this and keep it moving, right? But he had to apologize to, it was his, it was the black players on the team who became pissed off at his racism. It was his black players, you know? This is the same asshole who didn't stand with his, with his own player. When a running back at Mississippi State stood up and said, fuck, uh, fuck this flag. Fuck this Confederate flag. He stood with the Confederate flag. It took Lane Kiffin. It took Lane fucking Kiffin to stand with a black player at Mississippi State to say, fuck this flag. Y'all, so, Some of y'all want to know why I love Lane Kiffin so much. That's why I fucks with him. I don't, I never fucked with, 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 with Leach because Leach didn't fuck with us. He needed us. We, we kept him in a lifestyle he was accustomed to when I call white coaches, kept white bitches. I was referring to Mike Leach. So much of my hatred of how easy, how, how white boys have dominated coaching is because of Mike Leach. So, I'm not going to angelize this piece of shit now that he's dead. If anything, debt failed us in the amount of time, in the delay, and, and, and how slow debt was to react and respond to what I have always felt was a threat to black children. This is the reason why I said we have to stop allowing anybody any just because they like football don't mean that you guys have anything morally uh, 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 in values in common y'all don't have shit in common but a ball a brown ball but they hate your black ass stop stop this this it, 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 20 years of racism there's been at least 20 years of racist shit from leech and now he's dead and the football world reacts and see how quickly they forget see how quickly they forget because of a bunch of bigots at Mississippi State hired a bigot. How quickly they forget. A losing ass coach like Mike Leach, who never amounted to shit, never did shit. He had he was he caught lightning in a bottle. Lightning in a fucking bottle. His whole coaching career was lightning in a bottle. But when you're white, they'll they 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 want anything to glamorize, to elevate, to because they're trying to constantly make the statement that the white coach is better than the black coach. And even the piece of shit black white coaches they still say he's still better than a black coach and that's why mississippi state stuck with him that's why they stuck with him 
because they're bigots too. There's a fucking, it's the name of the school is Mississippi State, okay? They're fucking bigots too. So the shit that he was saying, all that Trump shit that these kids had to endure, all of these tweets, all that racist ass tweets he made about President Obama. Oh, y'all forgot, huh? I told you I am a vending machine of the bullshit that they do in, 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 in the SEC football. I archive this shit. I'm a curator of the of the fucked up shit that goes on in college football, especially as it relates to African-American children. I told you this channel is dedicated to making you guys aware of the fucked up shit that black players have to deal with because nobody else is going to talk about it. Nobody else is going to br going to bring it up. So don't come to me asking me for an opinion on Archie Bunker. Don't come to me asking me an opinion on David Duke. Don't come to me asking me an opinion on Adolf Hitler unless you want my honest opinion. And as it relates to Mike Leach, fuck him. Dead or alive.